Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. So excited, today I'm gonna show you the 2020 Lance 2445. Now it's a new trailer they're doing, it's a bunk model, but hold on, if you're not interested in a bunk model, you really might wanna stick around because this is great for families, it's great for the occasional guest, it's really great if you carry a lot of camping gear because it's so open and so versatile. Now this trailer is just under 30 feet long. It weighs about 5,600 pounds. It has cool new features from Lance. So uh, it's a little different video because we're actually standing in a field at Open House here uh, in a display that Lance has, but we didn't want to wait to show you this because it is great. All right, so You'll see the new graphics on the outside. We'll show you all the new outside details. But before we do that, let's take a look at the new modern interior. You have not seen a Lance like this yet. Come on, let's go. All right, coming into this, it is such a different feel than you have seen in any of the Lance trailers. I love this interior. It's got these light marble styled countertops. Of course, they're lightweight, they're durable. Uh, the light, kind of a tan gray uh, cabinetry. This one actually has the Java interior, but there are two other interiors. We'll show you those in just a minute. There's so much to talk about. Let's start right back here by the door at these bunks. First thing I noticed on these is that this bunk, which is really so wide, it's gonna be big enough for two kids for sure. Um, very comfortable for an adult, but this has got a leatherette covering, so it's very cleanable. You don't have to worry about a mattress getting dirty. Uh, down below, this looks different than what you have seen before. You remember I mentioned that this might be great for somebody who just has a lot of gear because you can actually load from the back door. It has tie downs for bikes, for gear, anything that you need. Um, and this just folds up out of the way, gives you a nice solid storage surface. And I think it also gives you storage surface right here behind the ladder. So you could fold it down put some gear back in there, and then fold it up, load in the bikes, the bigger gear. What a great storage area if that's what you used it for. The ladder on the end is permanent, doesn't go anywhere, so you don't have a ladder to move around. I really like that. Let's look at what they put in these bunk areas. You've got the double pull down shades here, one with screens and one with the blackout shade just like every window on this trailer. They've added netting. Now the top bunk has the big net across the front, a small one on the right, a bigger one on the left. Now you'll also notice over here, there is another spot for that Furion speaker to sit. And then of course, the charging ports and the 110 plug. So you've got all of the plugins that you need for games, charging your phones, anything that you need. They've also done the exact same electrical setup underneath. So the lower bunk also has the charging port and the 110 plug and a little net above that. You know, we're all thinking that's where my phone's gonna sit when it's charging. Uh, but what a great space. There are curtains for it and there's separate curtains. So you can use just the top one or just the bottom one. There's netting at the top, so the airflow goes through there. I, I just think it is such a smart way to do bunks because whether you need to sleep a big family or just carry a lot of gear, it, it works beautifully and it is not intrusive in this beautiful living space. 
Okay, so there is on this trailer about $6,000 worth of options that I'm gonna show you. They are options, but I think it's so cool that Lance has those. Um, one of those options is right here, and it is actually an in-command system, they call it. Uh, it is a touch screen for your air conditioner, your lights, awnings, the slide outs, the jacks. Uh, it does turn itself off if you don't use it for a few minutes. Um, but you can actually do everything right from this touch screen. Uh, you can also download the app, do it from your phone. How cool is that? Everything is controlled so easily. You could be outside, turn the lights off inside the camper, whatever you need to do. I think that's such a great feature. It is available on this, uh, on this uh, trailer. Now, there is a few other things that will be in that $6,000 package. You don't have to get them all. One of them is solar panels. This trailer actually has two 190 watt solar panels on it. So you've got great solar power on the roof of this trailer. You have a 1500 inverter and two lithium ion batteries. I just love that. Now, you know, the thing about lithium ion batteries is that you have to have a specific converter. So when you get that package, the converter changes as well. So I, I just think all of that really brings this up to the latest technology and just a, a top-notch traveling and camping experience. Let's talk about the interior. This is a driftwood interior. It is new. Now the maple is still available in some of the other models right now. Um, but this is the new driftwood interior that's the wood colored in here and kind of the interior styling. There are three different, I would say fabric colors, but they're actually a leatherette. The one we're looking at here um, is kind of a chocolate brown and it's called Java. There is also a blue one and a gray one. And so those colors are available as well. So the corner bathroom, really, I just love this piece just kind of fades into the background. But you've got the outside mirror on the door. But as you walk in, you will notice it has a whole different feel. Now, you do have pull-down shades throughout the rest of the trailer. In the bathroom and in the kitchen, uh, for safety reasons, you're going to have mini blinds. Uh, they have a new sink style, the, the modern bowl sink on the top. I just think it looks fun and luxurious, super easy to clean. It the single handle faucet, got kind of the modern farmhouse look. So the toilet's on a little bit of riser, but it actually gives you some still some great floor space. You'll notice the shower, a great space in there, and the actual curtain has the magnet that holds it closed and then slides open. Skylight in the top, plenty of space in there. It's really uh, spacious for a shower. I, I love this bathroom. It's very compact, but not crowded. You've got the towel bar, the ceiling light, and the vanity light separate. Lots of great storage here. You've got the medicine cabinet on the top with a mirror and more storage underneath. So anything you might need right here in this corner space. That leaves your living area to feel really open, so comfortable. Double door refrigerator right here. The door is, the refrigerator is actually in the slide, which is really nice because it just tucks it out of the way. All right. Let's cross over, take a look at this galley. Isn't this white countertop gorgeous? I love the Euro style cabinet at the top. You've got the soffit lighting. Two shelves in here. And the microwave next to that. Let's take a look. There you go. Now the vent fan has the fan and the light in it as usual. And then this nice full-size glass top stove, the Dometic stainless steel oven underneath just feels very residential. 
That's kind of the Lance style, isn't it? Folds back, opens up to a nice three burner. You've got a little different surround here. Again, it really goes with that modern look that they have. Uh, you've got the uh, light above the sink right here, a nice LED strip, and then the soffit lighting right at the top. The controls for your air conditioner right here, and above, that is the controller, of course, for the two solar panels on the roof. Let's come down, take a peek at the oven, and then look at the storage. Nice oven size. Below, of course, the converter with the breakers and fuses and the LP detector. The storage in here, let's see if we can get a shot of that. It's kind of corner storage there. And then you have access, of course, to the water heater on the back side. It's always important to have access and storage that works together. Drawers on the end, I love that. Oh, got a little extra pieces in here. That's what happens at shows like this. There you go. It's about 12 inches long, about four inches deep. Give you some great kitchen storage drawers there. The sink, I love these, they're kind of heavy. You've got the undermount sink in a, a nice dark gray tone. I love that, very stylish. Have the pull out on the, sto on the faucet, of course, single handle. Let's put these back here. And as you'll find on the other Lance trailers, you have an extra bin back here with a removable trash can. Now you can use that, of course, for anything, but it's very handy right by the door. Take that trash out when you need to. But when you're not using it, great counter space. Love that. All right, heading back, the traditional pull-out pantry. Wonderful. Lots of space there with one more drawer underneath. Same size as the ones that you saw in the front. All right. Did you notice? Beautiful flat screen television. Of course, it pulls out. It's got the latch right here. Pull down, and it's going to come out and swivel to whatever direction you need that to go, as usual. Now, behind it, you've got the cable hookups, the 12 volt plug in. Um, uh, the HDMI cable plug-in, and then you've got a 110 plug as well. So this space can be really versatile. All right, pull that down, it clips right back in. Underneath, small shelf, speaker right here. Of course, you've got the Bluetooth stereo. You know, it's going to be a DVD player. It's going to have everything that you need right there connected to all those speakers. Another charging port right here, and then a satellite cable hookup, uh, some HDMI hookups, the 110, USBs, everything right here in this lower ledge. I know you've noticed by now, there is an electric fireplace in this unit. Again, it's optional, but it's, it's really great to not only add ambiance, but a little bit of heat. Just the flip of a switch and you can have the fireplace going, giving you that kind of just nice cozy feel in this trailer. I love this driftwood interior. It just gives it such a light feel. Uh, the maple is still available on other models. This Java interior uh, gives such a rich look in this U-shaped dinette. Uh, again, it's got the drawers underneath that we've seen before. Lots of big, deep drawers. Now this one, of course, has the gear in it. We'll try to show you the other one. Let's see. And this one right here, they have the push button latches. That's a huge space on both sides. Now, of course, this table goes down to make a bed here. This bed is almost a queen and is very comfortable for two adults. 
I, I think that's a great feature in all of these Lance campers that have the large U-shaped dinette. So, as you sit up here, it's so comfortable. A nice size table. You have the two lanterns right here that actually have a dimmer switch. It's on the other side. But great windows. Did I mention this is just like the other Lance campers, the four season camper with dual pane windows, heated and enclosed tanks underneath, and just great insulation throughout. This camper can take you in any kind of weather, hot, cold, beautiful living space inside. If you get caught in a snowstorm, I just, I, I just, I'm in love with this trailer. Okay, moving on. If you can come to the other side, I want to show you that you have the traditional Lance clock. You'll see that in all of their trailers, but then they also give you a whole other set of plugs right here in the dinette. That's a nice feature because at the dinette is where you always want to plug in something. So many places to do that here. I think they figured out how many electronics we depend on and we all have different ways of using them. Okay, so now that we've seen the living area, the features in here, let's step into the bedroom and talk about that. All right, come on in. And the first thing you'll notice in here is the standard queen bed that comes in all the Lance trailers. Love that, it makes sheets and everything else so simple. Uh, they do the, the um, indirect lighting overhead. You have reading lights, speakers on each side, and the hanging closet on each side. You know, what I love about Lance's is that you not only get the upper storage, hanging closets, or shelves if you want it, but then underneath you get, of course, this has the USB, the 12 volts, and the 110s, and they have that on both sides. You have lighted, uh, indirect lighting right above your countertop and the pull-out drawer underneath. So a lot of personal space for each person on each side of the bed. That's really such a nice feature in a trailer. All right, there is a switch right here and it's gonna turn off these indirect lighting pieces that shine down on the, on the countertop. So if you just need a night light where you're you know, getting ready for bed, crawling in, you can just turn that off at the last minute and it's dark. Of course, you've got a, a opening window on the front here. It is a dual pane window, opens up completely, has the pull up shade and the pull down um, blackout. So you can have any privacy or just a nice open breeze here. Over here, we're showing you that you can have the blackout pull down. And then I'm not gonna lift this because the sun's really bright right here, but there is kind of a day shade here uh, that lets the light through and then the blackout on top of that. Just great features in a bedroom to keep it really wide open with these windows. All right, take a look at this. Nice closet here. I mean, it's even got the rack at the bottom for your shoes, the hanging upper racks, hooks on the side. Guys, who wouldn't want a nice residential style closet in their trailer? Love that feature. And then the bedroom door is a slider. Now let's look on the other side. Now on this side of the trailer, you've got the your bedroom TV up here, another countertop space, you know, nice to set down some extra gears, your wallet, your keys, storage underneath, and then more storage under that. And this storage is along with that closet we just looked at. And then, of course, storage under the bed. Let's take a peek. There you go. Kind of dark to see in there, but it is all finished out as Lance does. So it's a nice storage space for anything. And this lifts with one hand. So it's very easy to get to. Uh, it has gas props on it, so it stays up out of your way. 
it's an easy access, so you don't need to put those, I almost never use these things under there. You can put everyday accessible items right there. I love that. LED lighting, of course, throughout this trailer, inside and out, and fantastic fan right there above the bed because I know so many of us love to have that air moving while we sleep. Just crack the window, turn on the fan, and it's gonna actually create that breeze in here, even if you have that air conditioner running. All right, all these great features in here. I know that you are excited to see this trailer. I'm ready to head outside and show you the outside. Let's go. All right. The first thing that you'll notice is the new graphics. Look how different they are. Have you seen the new Lance logo? I love it. I love this really modern, clean feel on the outside. It really matches the inside we just saw. Now, as you come out the door, there's a different handle here. They've got some new high-tech features, but you still have the touchpad lock on it. Uh, the glow steps, these are the Revolution Steps by Torquelift. They are an option, uh, but they make it really sturdy. To the right of that, big storage compartment here. Now this is under that bunk in the back, so it, it just gives you great outdoor space right at the rear of the coach. And right under here, you've got a gas outlet, of course, for those outside grills. Well, you know what? There is going to be a pull-out kitchen available for this space. Awesome. That just is perfect touch for this huge family-sized trailer. So the pull-out kitchen will fit here. There is water plumb for it. Uh, so look forward to that. This is, like I said, a prototype. So there are a few things that might change, minor details, um, and the kitchen just isn't installed yet. Um, we'll try to show you that in a future video. Uh, of course, Lance has the four season features, the dual pane windows, frameless. It has the great insulation in the side walls, the roof and the ceiling. You've got heated and insulated tanks ready for any type of weather you wanna throw at it. Electric awning, full length of the trailer, this will give you just a huge outdoor space. Really great trailer. Let's head around to the back. Now at the back, you've got the fat tube ladder, just like you have on all the others, the square four inch bumper, and this is the hatch to get in under that bunk. So you can see this space. You've got tie downs in the four corners, so fitting bicycles, motorcycles in here, like we'd mentioned, just is super easy to do to load from the back. All right. And you know, the thing I like about the rear hatch is that it makes it real easy to get your gear out once you get there. You're not really hassling with bike racks and all that kind of stuff to deal with. So I love that feature. The back has a real clean look on this one, just the Lance logo right in the center. Of course, the optional backup camera, always a great thing. Let's come around to the side. Oh, I do see right here, they do have a small hitch available. That's always a great thing. So you can add another rack on the back. Now again, we apologize for the noise, we're outside, but we didn't want to wait to show this to you. We start with the park cable and the satellite hookup. Now right next to that is the 30 amp cord plug right here. And let's look underneath at the tanks. Now this unit has a tank, two 45 gallon gray tanks and a 45 gallon black tank. All of those tanks dump out of this same port. This is the great tank pole. The other one is up in front, but they all come out the same place. Black tank is right next to that. Super easy to actually dump your tanks all from this area. Now over here, there's the black tank flush. And of course, that's so important for keeping your black tank clean. 
and the city water fill right next to that. Right above it, your traditional hot, cold outside shower. All available right here behind the slide. Let's keep going. This is such a great slide and it's deep enough that the, air, the refrigerator only takes up the front portion. There is extra storage right here behind the refrigerator. You know, there is never enough storage on the outside, so I think that's great to have an extra compartment there. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, what you're used to seeing in the Lances is this behind the seating. So what you'll notice, one of the changes that you have here is that these are 15 inch tires. So in 2020, Lances are gonna change to 15 inch tires, except for the smaller versions in the 14 and the 15. So uh, another storage bin right here. Uh, this is usually used for maybe your 30 amp cord to keep it accessible. Locks right up right there. There is a new feature that's added just in front, and that is uh, the, the lock right here. It's a toy lock, and you, it's a cord that pulls out if you wanted to lock a generator, lock your bicycles, uh, lock any kind of gear right here so it can't leave the trailer. That's all set up for you. Now let's take a look in here. Do you notice this has vents on it? This is something new from Lance. This is actually set up so that if you wanted, you could use this for two portable generators. And you strap them in right here. It is meant to carry the portable generators. It's not meant to run them in this compartment. But, you know, it's always tough to figure out where to put those generators because you don't want all those fumes inside your vehicle or inside your trailer. Yeah, guys, sorry about the traffic, but we thought you'd like to see this. Uh, there also in here is the lug wrench and the battery cutoff switch. All right, and just in front of that. Now, this trailer has lithium ion batteries. Uh, it is an option with Lance. So, uh, you know, like we talked about inside, there's the, the options that they have added to this trailer that will be available. And so this one actually has the lithium ion. The batteries are on both sides. You've got a slide out tray here with easy access. So very simple to use, very simple to hook up batteries, exchange them, anything you'd like to do. Of course, it's got the traditional magnets to hold all these cabinet doors open. When you come around to the front, you'll notice the ABS molding, very traditional with Lance. It's, it's a Good looking rock guard is what it is, and it's got LED lights in it. They really help you if you're working up here and you need to light up the front of the trailer. You've got their Tri-5 propane system. Three five uh, gallon propane tanks right up here. This is the Smart Jack. If you're not familiar with Smart Jacks, it's really great because what you do is you can program this to go the height you need when you need to back under it according to your vehicle so you don't have to sit here and gauge whether it's high enough. You push the button and it goes there. It's just a great feature on this guy. All right, so it may seem like a simple thing, but Lance has added another spot right here so that when you are not plugged into your vehicle, your cord can actually rest right here. It doesn't get drug, doesn't get run over, and right behind that, you've got some chain hooks. So you hook your chain back up under here. Everything is neatly out of the way, not laying in the mud, not laying on the ground. I love that. It's a simple thing. And of course, the big picture window we saw on the inside. I love the feel of that. On this side of the trailer, there is room for more portable solar. Now, we talked about the upgrades on the inside. This one actually has the two solar panels on the top but you've got the plug-in here for the portable if you wanted to add that as well, or if you didn't want to get that option. So that's great. There you go, the other lithium ion battery. Now, of course, these are all connected together, uh, but easy access from each side with the slide out tray. 
Now this is the pull-out storage tray. Pull straight out. Now we've got a little bit of gear stored in here, but look at that space. I love this, and it's really so easy to roll. Clips right into place right here so it doesn't uh, move when it's traveling. Again, the magnetic catch at the top, so simple to use on the outside. And the slam latch. Gosh, you got to love it. Remember in the back, you can add the outside kitchen that's coming with the gas port. But right here, we have a gas port in the front as well. So this would be great for your gas grill if you wanted it on this side of the awning. Let's keep going. We've got another pole right here. This is going to be a fresh tank drain right there. That's just a great feature to have. And look at this, folks. This is what we saw on the inside. This is the Furion speaker lifts off. You can hang it on the wall out here under your awning or take it out to your picnic table, wherever you'd like for it to go. So easy, so simple to use. And then it just clips right back on. Let's see if I can do that. Almost got it. There you go. And you can control it right on the front. That is such a great feature to have in a trailer. I just don't know why it took so long to get that here. It's, it's great. This would be the vent for the furnace. You have the stove vent. This is the actual uh, hookup for the TV. Just clips right on here, and then you've got plug-ins underneath. Right under here, we don't have this open, but this is going to be the uh, fresh water fill right there. And this looks, uh, this is new, this is a little different. This is a vent for your fresh water tank. You'll start to see these on the lances now. Why? Because it helps you fill your tank faster. You know how sometimes the air has to come out when the water's going in? This actually vents the tank. It'll help it fill faster and it'll keep you from overfilling and actually pressurizing that tank more than you should. Great feature. That is the 110 plugs. And in here, we don't have these compartments open. I believe, and don't hold me to this, but I believe this is another charging port. You have the water heater vent here, and we are back around to the front door. We're gonna show you real quickly at the end of this video what the awning looks like going in and out. So you'll get to see it actually out, how big it is, what the trailer looks like, but pretty easy to see. This trailer is just amazing. I love it. It is a new look for Lance. And if you would like to see one in person, give us a call. I know there's questions about this trailer that I didn't answer. It is so new, but we'll look forward to hearing from you. Just give us a call. We'll update you on all the new things coming out. Take a look at this trailer. It really might be just what you're looking for. You know, thanks for watching. We always like to show you what's new on the market. And I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Come see us, give us a call. And as always, subscribe to our channel so you can see the latest and leave your comments. We love to hear from you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.